So there will be a reverse timer of 10 seconds and then that whistle will be blown. So please watch the screen for reverse timer. And with that, the whistle goes off and we see both the team's robots in action over here. The red team quite clearly applying or showing a rather different strategy or a technique over here with the blue team also following over there. Both the teams going straight into the second and the third zones right now. Still trying to figure out how the red team's robot has ended up in the third zone because we are still looking at placing That's these right, saplings into the holes over here. Absolutely, and uh, as we begin the proceedings after that uh, little break and the official opening of uh, Robocon 2024, this is one match uh, that we all had been waiting for because the stalwart superstar team, Nirma University, is taking on the Government College of Engineering from Amravati, and I'm sure as an underdog, they are feeling a little bit of pressure, but they're done well, team in blue. They're not looking daunted or afraid of uh, the superstar competitor that they have. And uh, Nirma University living up to their reputation already into zone number three, collecting three balls there and uh, trying to get one in the silos. Uh, another one, mind you, team in red has to begin with the red ball only first. And they've done that successfully, three balls already into the silos. So successful work done by living up to their reputation, Nirma University. We are already halfway through the game, one minute, 40 seconds remaining in this great contest. It looks like an almost one-sided demolition by the red team which is represented by Nir Nirma University over here because they had or they went off to a flying start placing all those saplings into the holes and then moving on to the second zone and thereby also being able to successfully craft five balls now. They have been flying very high. It almost looked like Akshay that in a blink of an eye they were into the third zone. And that is the kind of efficiency that the robot has shown. And let's not forget that these robots have been designed by these students through the course of the year. So the efficiency and execution of the robot is entirely dependent upon how it is made and how it is executed by the students. So it is their hard work which reflects the smooth efficiency and execution over here in the match today. Look at that beautiful coverage of the area number three here by the Nirma University's autonomous robot. Beautiful work done by three balls already into the second silo and two each in the second and third silos. Coming back for the third one. Beautiful execution there by the autonomous robot. And uh, mind you, Sakshi, this is going to be one of the high scoring matches. Oh, just a reminder to our viewers, uh, with every successful putting up of the ball into the silos, 30 points are given. So you can see that already eight balls and this is the ninth ball. So already they have some 270 odd points from the area 3 only and 120 from area 1. So it's going to be above 400 points and a very, very high scoring match. The team One in blue. One sided feeling. demolition over here, Akshay, is what we are witnessing. Complete demolition that has happened in the last three minutes. The result is pretty much known to Nirma University that they would be the clear winners. It's just a matter of time for the referee to come out and give us the scores, the final scores. But at the end of the day, we all pretty well know who should be the winner in this match. And they'll be having a thumping one-sided victory.